Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcar.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP, and for Brian, KY4BDP, we wanted to bring you a series of videos. We're going to do several of these uh, throughout this year and next year, and the first series we're going to look at is going to be on some antenna choices that we can use when we're in the field. We want to uh, use a few of these ourselves, and we're going to be uh, reviewing these from uh, various locations, typically outside in parks and on the road. And we want to get our comms trailer out as well and exercise that and get that in the community. And, uh, of course, it's just nice to have different locations to uh, enjoy yourself in the great outdoors, but then also to, uh, to work with our equipment. And since we travel a lot, we want to use our equipment even when we're on the road. So there's several antennas we're going to be looking at in the series and then beyond. Uh, the first one is the uh, MFJ2289, the big ears. It has a Y configuration with a couple of extendable uh, whips, and then it also has a coil, small coil you can put on there so you can hit 80 meters and on down. And this is a pretty nice antenna. All the choices we're going to look at are basically designed to be portable. There's maybe one exception to that in the series. But they're all designed to be portable, used in the field, on the road, and so they're designed to be pretty lightweight, pretty easy, and quick to put up. Now, some of these are going to be a little bit more packable than others, as we'll see, but certainly for car camping and, and being on the road and things like that, most of these options would be a, a great fit. Uh, the prices are generally not that expensive. Uh, they can range anywhere from probably um, in the uh, $100, $150 range up to around $300, somewhere in that range. Uh, but you can get a lot of bang for your bucks when you uh, look at these antennas. So, again, the Big Ears is a pretty nice, interesting choice. You can get the uh, the uh, stand for it, and it's got that Y splitter. You can see the coil there. And uh, you can then adjust the lengths of those uh, whips to, uh, to match your bandwidth needs. And so we're going to have a few other options. One of the other options we're going to be looking at is from Wolf River Coils. We're going to be looking at their Silver Bullet 1000 Take It Along Edition. Again, a great uh, packable antenna. It's not real heavy. Uh, there's some options uh, from that company. But uh, with this particular antenna, I've had really great success with it. It's a really great receiver. And I've made some DX uh, uh, connections with it as well. And I'm going to be using it uh, on the road next week, in fact. And I'll uh, be sure and uh, at least get some pictures, if not some footage, from uh, the trip I have coming up. But we're going to be doing a dedicated video on this one as well. Again, quick and easy to put up. Maybe one of the fastest ones to put up. The Big Ears is pretty fast as well. Uh, most of these are relatively quick. Five, ten minutes or so. And usually one person can handle these just fine. So, again, we'll be taking a look at the Wolf River coils and getting some footage on that. And we're also going to try to make sure we can uh, hopefully get some reception examples from these antennas whenever possible as well. If the bands will play nice with us. So, again, we'll be checking this one out. Uh, again, it's one of my personal favorites. Uh, it's a, just a great antenna. It's not that expensive. Uh, around $150. Uh, but it's uh, uh, in this configuration, uh, it's pretty much all band. Now, another choice is uh, another MFJ, the 2100. This is the HF Octopus. And uh, it's, it's vaguely similar to the Big Ears, but instead of the Y configuration, it has a unique... Uh, cap at the top that allows you to attach four sets of uh, your your uh, antenna whips, your uh, uh, ham sticks, and uh, then you can tune the stingers uh, for each band that you want to have. So you can select your bands, and what's really cool about this is you then have instantaneous access to four bands very quickly. Uh, a field tuner, like a lot of folks can have, and we're going to be talking about that kind of equipment, radios and tuners and things a little bit later as well. And with this thing, pretty fast to put up, a little bit more to transport, uh, but you've got four bands. And once you've set it up, all four are going to be ready to go. So uh, we did some color coding with some tape and things. We'll be showing that to you and uh, built a little uh, custom field case there to help make it uh, safe to transport. Again, pretty nice option. We, uh, Brian and I used this. We were on a business trip to Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, got out into a park, and we were using this. Uh, didn't get too many weird stairs, uh, but we got some pretty nice things. It was nice to be able to hop those bands 
fluids very quickly and easily. We'll also be talking about the Soda Beams linked dipole, and this is a very packable antenna, very lightweight. You'll have the pole, and that's about the biggest part of it. Uh, it's not real heavy, though, and we can take that out. And then also the DX Commander, all-band vertical, 10-meter antenna. Uh, I've got it set up semi-permanently here at the, at the house, but it uh, is meant to be portable, and it's quick and relatively easy once you've kind of put it together. There'll be some others as well, so tune in. Yeah.